Hey guys, how's it going? This is Lou again. I'm back in front of the camera for a very special video. This video is dedicated to my wonderful, wonderful wife, Sharon. And she's in the States right now while I'm here in Japan. What's the topic of this video? Well, um, unfortunately, um, you know, she's celebrating a birthday on October 3rd. Unfortunately, I can't be there. Um, she's going to be 30 years old, sorry, give away your age, hun. But uh, yeah, it's important for me to, to express how much you know, she means to me and how much you know, is important that even though I can't be there uh, with you, Cher, and with our friends and family, um, yeah, I want to just bring to light a lot of ways in which uh, I appreciate your support and how I think a lot of us can learn from how you've pretty much taken on this massive situation. So let me start with just, you know, um, your, your support. Let me, let me start from there. I don't think I could have done this without you. I think a common misconception with me and doing, you know, this MBA in Japan is like, oh, the Lou, you know, Lou could, uh, you know he's independent. He can do this stuff, and he could, he could uh, handle all this. Yeah. And thank you for the thank you for the compliments. But to be honest, I was never like this. I was never into traveling. Let me adjust this real fast. I was never a big traveler. You can ask my family, my friends. Heck, I even I even rejected a job interview uh, because I didn't want to get on a plane to go travel to Pittsburgh. And so I never liked uh, traveling or doing any of this stuff. But it wasn't until I met Sharon my wonderful 30 year old by now um, that I felt confident and, and, and comfortable with the stability and the ability to move out of that uh, comfort zone to challenge myself and to challenge you know the things uh, you know in life in general and so it's kind of a catch I don't know, I don't know if you would call it a catch-22 or what you would call it but it's like I didn't want to you know, leave my comfort zone. But then when I met someone who complimented me and supported me so much, it was like, ah, I've got the strength. I've got the ability to go do it. And so, yeah, I'm not out here in Japan because I'm so independent and then I'm so, uh, you know, so gung-ho on Japan and Japanese culture. I'm out here because I have wonderful people, my wife, my mother, brother, who have given me the strength to know that I can go out here on this limb and not fear the unknown that oh my gosh are they gonna love me when I get back are they gonna still be there I could I could say with confidence that I I trust that it'll always be there and so you know that gives a person a lot of strength and it's difficult to do I can't I don't know I, I don't know how I would how I would react you know if the shoe was on the other foot because um, it's tough I, I would be supportive but it's easy for me to say because um, I haven't had to do it yet. And so, yeah, so number one, thank you, Sharon, uh, on your birthday for your support. Even though I can't be there, you threw me a kick-ass birthday party. And in my mind, I consider that kind of a dual thing, even though, <laughs> even though I didn't really put much into the party because you kept it kind of so secret. But um, yeah, that was, that was a ton of fun. And the support you've given me, I, I can focus on my work, uh, Japanese studies and what will come next I'm not so worried about as long as you know we can tackle these things together so that that's awesome um, so the support is there and then I mean it, yeah it just it, it just blows my mind how how blindly uh, supportive um, Sharon is and I really appreciate that and it's, it's a quality that I think a lot of people can learn from because um, I don't know, I, I just think it frees you up to do so many wonderful things. And I'm not saying that, you know, you need to do this every couple of years in your life or you're going to really strain your relationship. But uh, thank you. Thank you for your support. Um, so other tidbits. Uh, birthdays and, and my wife. What could I talk about? Um, we've had a lot of fun birthdays. I would say Sharon's birthday being in the fall, we've had a lot of fun fall things to do. Um, lately we've been talking about a ton of stuff, you know, like hey, wouldn't it be nice if we were, you know, back in Fairfax doing, like, pumpkin picking, apple picking. I guess it might be getting too late. I don't, I don't know if it's getting too late for apple picking. Uh, I don't think so. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, we reminisce on that type of stuff. So, like, 
we, we both met in college, and so like when we had like birthday celebrations, mine being in the summer, hers in the fall, I would say hers was a lot more fun because you had like the, the changing of the seasons and that type of stuff. So I'm kind of rambling a bit, but that, that was a ton of fun. So, uh, so yeah, the only thing I'm going to say, I'll kind of semi end on this, is that even though I can't be there for the 30th birthday in person on that specific day, what I can promise is, is that, and this is for you guys too, is when Sharon does come out here, she's coming out here in November, um, we're going to have some fun. Either we're going to go to, uh, I've got some awesome plans set up that you guys can check out on the blog as well. There's this temple in, in Nara, which is west of Tokyo, and near Kyoto, which is, um, for you who don't know, is like the cultural center of Japan. The people I'm staying with here, they've got a friend who has this kind of, uh, I want to say prestigious access, but they have kind of like VIP access to this temple where you have to be on a list to actually view it. They limit the number of people who can view it um, per day, and it's quite hard to get onto. And so, like, we're going to go see this temple. We're going to go stay at, at, at a traditional Japanese inn in, in Kyoto. Now, I'm kind of throwing out the element of surprise, but I'm not really, because I'm not telling specifics about the temple. All I told you was there was a specific temple, and I told you there was a Japanese inn somewhere. But I'm not going to tell you, you know, where exactly or what they're going to do. There's awesome stuff within that. And so, that's going to be fun. And then, I figure, you know, when we get settled down, why not throw a big party when we're back in the States or wherever. And so, I think, I think we're going to be just fine. It's tough not to be there for the symbolic kind of actual day. But, again, thank you for your support, Sharon. And, uh, yeah. We're going to have a ton of fun when you get out here. I think everyone else will be happy to see you know, the details, but uh, I've learned a lot from your support, and that's given me the power to do well out here and keep things up. So, anyway, happy 30th birthday. Enjoy your day. Don't, yeah, the thing with Sharon is, like, she'll celebrate her birthday. I'm like, oh, I have a good time. And her idea of having a good time um, is get up in the morning, go for a run, then work uh, 10 hours, and then get back, go for uh, either yoga, well, definitely yoga, but the question is, does she run before yoga, or run after, and then, you know, when I say, like, oh, splurge on a meal, she'll get, <clears throat> you know, like, endives, a uh, side salad, and then maybe hmm, mixed berry, uh, like a mixed berry fruit cup. And it's just like, yeah, yeah, I really splurged on my birthday. I, I, I worked and exercised a ton. So I'm like, okay, eh, you're missing the point here. So anyway, try to splurge on your birthday. Enjoy it. And when you get out here, know there's going to be a lot of fun things waiting. So anyway, uh, that was this special video. I wanted to get that out there. So um, still more to come. Not going to apartments and study. And I'll be taking some video around campus and all that good stuff. But anyway. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.